of beautiful people, lovers of good things, lovers of good win all over the globe. I bring greetings from a grateful heart. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. Thank you so dearly for always supporting this platform. I really do appreciate it. In case you are hearing our voice for the first time, or you are coming across us for the first time, we still remain your one and only progress news, giving it to you back to back. Remember, in this platform, we react to our videos, and your opinion is highly needed. So sit back, watch this video, and after pilot to do a program so that they will extract something to talk about on their social media and i begin to think these people don't get head to the do research simon epa will take his time do research come to social media to educate us whether you are agitating for biafra or not but when you listen to that guy you are going to understand that he's doing well you know i don't know if that person that asked that question on his program what is the achievement of Simon Epa since he begins this agitating. Let me tell you something. Mazin Namdekanu discovered a guy. Not be everybody gets sense to discover something we good though. If they tell you as a man now, choose a better woman of your life, you'll be looking for the beautiful woman. You're going to look for the woman where gets color, where they're they white in color. You're going to look for the woman where don't bleach, where don't bleach, bleach all in skin finish. I said I'm going to do this video a very simple. That guy is in her dead end. That title that I saw on social media that what is the achievement of Simon Ekpa? Simon Ekpa break the record. Presently, as we are talking here, Simon Ekpa is one of the best agitators who got followers on social media. That's number one. Number two, Simon Ekpa opened an app called Enter Biafra. That cost a lot of money. Number two. Number three, Simon Epa opened a radio called Voice of Biafra. And these people have not seen this as an achievement. Hello? All over Biafra land now, within a short time of two months, this guy has opened a radio that people in Southeast could listen to him right from Finland. Eh? With his autopilot followers. Somebody yesterday called me, I should shut up. Because I was talking about Simon Epa, that people come to social media and talk about Simon Epa all the time. Instead of them to go and do research, talk what your enemy, the government, will be watching and they will not be happy. Tell them the truth. Leave Simon Epa alone. Simon Epa is not your problem. As I am right now, Simon Epa is not my problem. It's not my problem. It shouldn't be our problem. The guy is doing his own best in his own way. If you don't like him, do your own expose go and do research and talk do research anyway simon Epa, i know you are going to watch this video i got one message for you bro i watched the video where you collaborate with uh, your co autopilot and there was an argument and i'm going to tell you a story about south africa if you're watching me right now, please, you are very lucky to watch this video now because I'm about to tell you a story of South Africa that you don't know. After I watched the video where Simon Epa and his co-pilot were arguing, I mean, they were, I don't, I don't know, because I wake up in the night and I just put the earphone, I begin to listen, where one lady was saying, no, they don't have to do this, they have to, there, there was an argument, anyway, there was an argument. And I told myself, I've been wanting those kind of things that is going to happen. Listen, Simon Epa, not be everybody who are there for autopilot will like you, my brother. This is human beings. Some people will be jealous of you for nothing. Like, okay, you have too much followers. Oh, you are making a lot of money. Uh, what about me? me? Me too, I want to make... Everything is about Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa. What about me? Those people that are with you inside that autopilot, my brother, they go, they chop you. I don't talk them. Ants, where they chop, leave. They leave inside, leave. Some people will smile at you and they are going to be waiting for your downfall. Me, where they talk, say, I know trust you. I can be the, even the best guy to be trusted. I know they give people a chance to trust me. Now only you go look into my eyes. Now only you go look into my attitude and say, okay, this person can be given a chance. I'm not, I don't want to be part of autopilot broadcaster. Me, I am not a straight up broadcaster. I'm not a straight up agitator. I come to social media for something else. But I found myself here because Biafra is a spirit. Biafra is a spirit. I'm a son of Biafra. My father fought 
for Biafra. That spirit just entered inside me. I was not here for Biafra. I was here for something else. But the spirit of Biafra got into me. I repeat, those of you that are watching me, you are very lucky. And I'm going to tell you a story of South Africa. The reason why I want to tell Simon Epa about this story of South Africa is because inside autopilot, you must have enemy. And now let me tell you about South Africa. In 1980, there was what they call Silverton Siege in South Africa. I want you to take a pen and write it down because it's going to be useful for you or any other, any other person watching me right now or later. Take a pen and paper and write it down. That's what they call Silverton, Silverton Siege in South Africa. And I want to tell you how people betrayed themselves even in South Africa in 1980. During the time of apartheid, there must always be a saboteur. There must always be a, even your own brother. Some people say, oh, Mazin Nam the Kanu brother cannot betray him. See Mumu people. See Mumu people. Mazin Nam the Kanu brother. Is it an angel? Even an angel came all the way from heaven, come and have sex with women on this earth. I've been announcing for Bible. Angels came all the way from up, come see better women. They disappoint God. They saboteur. And a saboteur, they, be, they begin to have sex with women. Right? That's an angel. Mazin Nam the Kanu brother is not an angel. He could be. I'm not saying his brother is a disappointment yet on my own side. Because there are a lot of things I don't know about. I am just innocent. Now, let me explain to you about Silverton Siege in South Africa. In 1980, there was a group of guys in South Africa who took up a gun. Remember, they are fighting for appetite. They were to go and explode. Explode. When I say explode, they carry what they call granite. They carry bomb. They carry gun. They carry AK-47. They were to go to enter a community where the white people did come begin to explode somewhere there. One of their leader was either a saboteur or he was arrested. When they got there, the person that was supposed to come with the truck was not the person driving the truck. It was somebody else. Now, that person went out there for that truck. The reason why he not there for that truck, there was betrayer. Somebody betrayed them and somebody else took the truck so that they can expose those people and catch them. That is saboteur. Now, when they found out that the person in that truck was not the person that they were expecting, they begin to run for cover. Run for cover. They begin to run up and down. The police begin to chase them up and down of South Africa. There were three of them. No, there were four of them inside this truck. They begin to run up and down. They enter inside mall. They begin to fire helicopter everywhere. That was in 1980. Silverton Siege in South Africa. If you're watching me right now, you're lucky to hear this story. If you have never heard of this story before. Now, they begin to run up and down the police after them. Paraventure, someone was killed among them. One of the guys, the driver. The driver of that truck that they are carrying was killed. Now, they were left with three people. Two guys and one boy. And two guys and one lady. They begin to run up and down. And the paraventure, they ran into the bank. South African Apartheid Bank in South Africa. Simon Epa, I'm telling you because there are a lot of people will disappoint you, my brother. Some people will sabotage you inside autopilot. You ain't seen nothing yet. So fight for freedom. Not be smart, you know. Out of 10 people, two will betray you. Either by jealous or by somebody giving them money to just betray you. Now, let me go further. I still there with that Silverton Sigil. I want you guys to understand, I'm still on that story. If you're here to listen to this story today, you are very lucky. Now, these three people went into the Appetite Bank. When they got into the bank, did you know what happened? They took over the bank. The bank manager, they begin to cry, hey, do you want to money? Take the money and go. They say, we are not here for your money. We are not arm robbers. Everybody's surrounded. Now, the police... Are outside they want to come in these guys got granite they have ak-47 now they begin to negotiate with the police ask me what did they negotiate with the police they said we want mandela to be released release nelson mandela <laughs> that is why we say sometimes revolution is not planned something will trigger to revolution they were in this bank negotiating for Mandela to be released, the police in South Afri Africa, South African apartheid, make a fake letter, send it to them that South African Mandela has been will be released. And they told them, you know what? We want you to announce this on radio 
announced this on radio that Mandela has been released. I want to make you understand, I'm talking about sabotage. People inside you that you're working together can sabotage you. Listen and let me finish the story. Now, when the police realized that these people are not succumbing, what they did was like, they brought a guy, um, they want to come in. They bring the SWAT, SWAT police to come into the bank. <laughs> surprise, surprise, those guys, those, those guys have granite. They begin to throw granite, they kill some of the police officers. <laughs> <laughs> they went back. <laughs> Those guys said, I know I'm going to die, but we are dying for freedom of South Africa. Mzamzi. Now, remember I told you there are three people left. There are a lot of story around this. Now, there are three people who are left. I told you three people came into the bank. Now, they told the police, apartheid police, that you know what? Get us a helicopter. Get us an helicopter and to fly us out of this bank. They got an helicopter. Guess who is the pilot of this helicopter? <laughs> a black man who is also suffering in South Africa. Let me tell you, they not tell you, say, even many South Africans did not want freedom. They not tell you that many South Africans did not want freedom. A lot of them, were, they were working with the white people. This guy was a pilot. They gave him a gun. That when he gets into the plane, he should kill all of them. When he gets into the helicopter, he should shoot and kill them. <laughs> when they got into the helicopter, there's a lot of story behind it. Now, they find out that this helicopter flight is a black man. Trusting in this guy like, oh, this is my brother. He's going to fly us, fly us out of this place. When they find out that he has a gun behind him, he has a gun. Do you know what they did? They came down out of that helicopter. Took him inside the bank. All of them, they went back inside the bank. That brother was a saboteur too. A black South African. And the story can go on and on. Do you know that out of these two guys, one of them is a saboteur? I want you guys to remember. I want to go back to the story so that you understand. Remember, there were four. One was killed. The other three, two guys and a lady, went into the bank. The other guy was a saboteur too. Who knows a lot of things that is happening? Guess who killed the guy? The lady killed the guy. When the guy... When the lady found out that that guy is a saboteur, he put the gun on his head and killed him. And says, first of all, he asked him, so you know all about this thing? So you are a saboteur? The guy was love. I mean, he was dumbfounded. The lady has to put a gun in the guy's head and shoot him to death and kiss his head and say, I'm sorry. Saboteurs do not leave. Because a saboteur will always be a saboteur. The lady put a gun in his head and killed him. Story finished four people fighting for freedom the other pe person carrying a gun among them is a saboteur simon Epa, you have to learn people will smile at you and do everything not be every day ah, it's not be every day you see you see many people where they support uh, you are when not support your expose because they don't know nothing so oh, those people that man, see, namdi kanu have trained they cannot they cannot uh, they pretend namdi kanu because now it's in structure it's massive namdi kanu structure anybody can fuck up at any time Life not a day straight though. Life is not straight all the time. A lot of people want to see that, oh, the life must be straight like this, I'm going. Now lie. As you they go straight, you go see snake where they come. You go branch, make you come up for road, make snake pass. You go, they go from, you go see rats, you go come up, make rats, they go your own way. I want you guys to understand that there must be a saboteur everywhere. People will disappoint you. I am even talking directly to Simon. Watch your back. Now they let all those people wait there for an autopilot. They know much, much, much deep inside about you. That's the truth. Me as a person, I see you as a genuine person. As I begin to watch you, I don't trust you because I don't trust myself. But I know you are doing the need, you are doing the needful. You are doing the needful. I've not seen anything that will make me hate you. But just that it is hard for me to trust people to hundred percent. But at least I can give you 80% that you are doing the right thing. You are, ex you are, in fact, you are a professor. You go to the archive, you bring, in fact, a lot of things that we don't know about Nigerians, you begin to bring them every day. I'm learning one or two things. Learning things that happens in your platform made me to go and look for this Silverton siege of South Africa. Because a lot of people will say, oh, Mazin Namdekanu people, uh, 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 
the people he trained cannot disappoint. We don't know anything. I tell you, we don't go to do research. People go disappoint. Your papa go sell you for money. Your papa go sell you. We don't ever see papa we carry picking go do juju body. Anyway, Simon, ever you have done right. Don't listen to anybody. Do your things. I would. That brings us to the end of this beautiful update. Do wait to like this video, share and subscribe. The best thing for you to do is to join this family by smashing on that red subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. From me to you, I say bye.